Awesome. Welcome all. A few people online already. Appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, I'm going to try and make this short, brief, to the point. We're going to be talking about the uh, University of Florida, the outbreak of mumps there in 24 cases, all confirmed mumps, and guess what? They're all confirmed to have received the vaccination. i going to turn my phone down there for a second. All right, so this is more or less a call to action. It's very short and simple. If a vaccine worked, why are only the vaccinated getting the illness? It's because the vaccine doesn't work as promised. It doesn't work as the CDC claims it does. They claim the CDC or the CDC claims and the news media, the fake news media, wants to spout off the lies of the pharmaceutical industry. Merck, the maker of the vaccine itself, the MMR vaccine, the only MMR, measles, mumps, rubella vaccination given to Americans um, is made by one single manufacturer, and that is Merck. They monopolize the market, and this is the clue to understand why this vaccine does not work and what has happened, and also why Merck is the only manufacturer that's allowed to sell and profit off of the American people taking a worthless vaccination. So, um, again, 24 cases in the media. This is WLXT or L. TX19, okay? Anyways, I just chose this one. Okay, they're talking about Florida, University of Florida, 24 cases, all vaccinated. Why is it not working? It's because Merck monopolized the market and the way in which they did that was they lied about it. So what I did is I went and actually emailed. If you look at the bottom of this news article um, and you have the links, TWD in the comments right now on Facebook Live in uh, the future, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll have to scroll down into the description of this video, look for the link to the blog post, and you can do the same to get the references and the articles. But I'm encouraging everybody to go to actually give this newscaster, this uh, media um, outlet, give them a tip. They say, have a news tip. And I said, yes, I do, actually. So I email desk at WTSP.com. So I emailed them specifically and have not heard back from them because again, they say that it's just, we should go all go out and get another vaccine, go out and get another MMR vaccine when only the vaccinated people are the ones. I mean, vaccines seem to be the only product that when it doesn't work, it sells more of that product. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Get that, folks. Vaccines are the only product that when they do not work, the, the product manufacturer sells more of that product. Nothing, no car, no toy, nothing else. If you bought TVs and you said these TVs don't work, they seem to not be working. Everybody who bought this type of TV, that TV doesn't work, doesn't play these stations, whatever you may say. And all of a sudden they sell more TVs because everybody's like, oh my gosh, the TV didn't work. I'm gonna go buy that TV. Oh my gosh, the vaccine didn't work. Only the vaccinated people are getting ill. Um, well, I'm gonna go out and buy another vaccine then. Only vaccines when they don't work are the ones that can sell more of that product. Here's my email. Um, uh, Ashley's gonna get you guys a PDF. Again, if you TWD in the comments, we don't have the PDF in the email yet, but I'm willing to get you guys the email. And as you can see, I attached two documents. These are legal documents, all right? And we uh, connected you to those legal documents. You get access to those legal documents. It's Chatham versus Merck, C-H-A-T-O-M versus Merck, okay? Merck, again, is the manufacturer of the only MMR vaccine, the only mumps vaccine made in America. There is a lawsuit against Merck, and it's been going on for almost a decade now because two of Merck's own researchers confessed that they and Merck were committing fraud and using animal blood and then completely lying about the efficacy, the effectiveness of their mumps portion of that vaccine. And because they made their mumps portion look so, so effective, just blatantly obvious that it wasn't that effective since no other manufacturer could even get close to that effectiveness, that's called an outlier. In science, you want to view that with an extreme skepticism, but somehow our FDA didn't care about the extreme, extreme bias of how Merck's vaccine was so much more effective than everybody else, so we can only give Merck's vaccine. And now the FDA does nothing, our government does nothing. No, the media wants to promote, go buy another vaccine when the manufacturer is being investigated for complete fraud. 
So they're criminals. So what I would like to say is if the media doesn't report the actual facts on the fact that the manufacturer of this mumps vaccine that doesn't work lied about the effectiveness, then they are actually accomplices to a crime. The crime is selling a product and lying to people about the efficacy of that vaccine. That is a crime, okay? Fraud in research studies, especially when you're selling the product to American people, that is a crime, okay? So if the manufacturer of this vaccine is found guilty of this crime, I say we hold the media and the government officials and everybody else who's pushing and promoting this vaccine for people to buy this vaccine. I say what? We hold them accountable for being accomplices to a crime. That's a crime if you assist somebody in committing a crime and selling this vaccine and making profits on the American people when your product doesn't work is a crime. So join me in emailing them, well, just like I have, and letting them know, email them those two documents. That's all I want you to do right now. I think that would be, if we would just flood their email with Chatham versus Merck, the two documents that show that Merck has no excuse. Their own researchers said, we've been lying. Hey, I'm going to raise my hand and blow the whistle. They are lying. So let's make sure that the media knows that we know the truth and we won't stand for them continuing to lie and promote a product that has been brought to market fraudulently and criminally.